We're all hearing the word green a lot these days. In this context, green means friendly to the environment or sustainable for future generations. But when building owners hear the word green, it almost always means money. They know helping the environment is nice, but at the end of the day, it's got to make sense for their bottom line as well. Cornell University is dedicated to reducing their carbon footprint, and they're doing it with innovative projects using union labor like the one we're about to see. In with the story is Matthew Walton. Matthew, hi. Dom, how are you doing? Doing great. The crafts of the building trades have a proven track record of getting jobs done on budget and done right the first time. Their value is on display every day, and Cornell couldn't be happier with their work. Whether it's helping the environment or helping their bottom line, it's clear that green is a language Cornell and union labor speak very well. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about what the greening of America means for all manner of businesses. For some, they think it means an increase in cost, with the hope of saving money down the line. But here's a news flash. With union labor, you don't have to give up value or quality in this new green economy. And nobody knows that better than Cornell University. Cornell is on the leading edge of the transition to this green economy, and is utilizing union labor the whole way. Cornell has developed projects that together create a visionary path towards Cornell's environmental goals, including a cogeneration plant, a cooling station that relies on lake water, and the addition of photovoltaics, just to name a few. All of the uh, technical trades that we work with uh, here on projects at Cornell are part of the Building Trades Council and all of those contractors that we work with we find uh, have very high skill levels and lots of pride in the work that they're doing. It's not hard to see that it's a relationship that works for both sides. The trades folks understand how uh, Cornell has gone above and beyond their contractual obligation to uh, use us. Uh, they recognize it every day because of the commitment Cornell gives back uh, through our favorable labor relations. The main goal up here for us is to save energy and cut costs. Still keeping the university functional, especially in its research and development. When you give it to them when they need it, they're happy, we're happy, it, it's, a, it's a good relationship. The Cornell Cogen plant was a complex problem that required the use of union labor at all stops. Cogeneration is simply taking one type of fuel and creating two kinds of energy out of it. Natural gas enters the facility at high pressure. It is injected into the combustors of our, our Brayton cycle combustion turbines that are designed to produce electricity. And they, they generate electricity at about 15 megawatts each. And after the production of electricity, the hot exhaust gas that comes off the combustion turbines is passed through heat recovery steam generators where we recover the heat out of that exhaust flue gas to produce steam. We uh, take that steam and pass that through steam, back pressure steam turbines, produce more electricity at that point, and then afterwards uh, the, the low pressure steam is distributed to campus facilities where they use that to provide all their thermal requirements and then uh, once the campus facilities are done, it's returned as condensate back to the plant to start the cycle over again. Jobs like these are plentiful in this new green economy. But these jobs require training. Training that craftsmen and women receive through their respective union apprenticeship and journeyman upgrade courses. They recognize the quality of work, the level of safety and training that our members provide. Our long-term commitment for climate neutrality is creating a demand for all sorts of products, services, and, uh, and labor that's going to actually have to build and maintain all of these uh, green facilities, renewable energy projects, energy conservation things, building automations and things like that. That's creating a demand for the economy to respond. The work union labor is performing on these jobs today functions as a resume for future work. These craftsmen and women recognize this and couldn't be happier about this chance to show off their skills. It's our future. Uh, that's how we gain future employment, through our quality and our craftsmanship. I wouldn't want to do a bad job. I wouldn't feel 
probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night, you know? <laughs> Here in Ithaca, this is my home. This is, uh, this is where I mainly do all my work, and uh, 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 quality is just uh, uh, of the utmost importance to me personally. Uh, and so we try to go a, a step above. Many of these projects here on campus will have a lifespan of 100 years or more. When Cornell decided to utilize union labor, they knew the quality of the work they were putting into these projects was going to keep them up for at least that long. The vast uh, majority, probably uh, you know, half of the value of all the work that we're doing is, is uh, labor. And having it done well means that those systems we build are going to last a really long time. Maybe locals in the construction industry and their customers don't see TV commercials every night reminding the population about the value of union labor. But when it comes to advertising, those in the know have to look no further than Cornell University as Exhibit A. We have really good, qualified uh, people working for us, and uh, I think uh, you walk around, you'll, uh, in the finished product, you'll, you'll see a big difference. Uh, that's our number one goal, the pride and quality and craftsmanship. Just craftsmanship alone separates the men from the boys. The building trades are absolutely vital to what Cornell is trying to do with green technologies. Cornell knows using union labor makes for a safer, more productive worksite. Well, it seems like a no-brainer to me. It seems like it's a win-win for contractor, owner, and labor alike. Absolutely it is. And all sides are starting to come around. If we look at all of these jobs from everybody's perspective, we walk a mile in each other's work boots, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Thanks for that story, Matthew. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.